okay this is crypto mano and this is my content and on this video i'll be showing you how to create an account on yet to beat yet to beat website yet to beat.com how to successfully create an account mistakes to avoid and all of that so the first thing you need to do is log into the website here yet to beat.com click on send and as you can see the ico is still in its stage one and we still have about um about nine days to go to the end of the stage one of the ico so after logging into the website the next thing you need to do is now proceed to create an account on the website and to do that you'll be asked to provide your first name last name email password you confirm the password and your binance coin address now you proceed to you first of all create your um sorry you provide your first name you box in your first name right here your last name your email make sure it's an email you have access to your email your password you confirm the password and then your binance coin address now the first mistake you make is trying to copy your binance coin address from binance or an exchange like kucoin do not make the mistake do not make the mistake of using your binance address the address you are required to provide here now is your bnb deposit wallet address your bnb wallet address do not copy the bnb wallet address from binance so my your main binance account do not copy the wallet address from there now to do that what i would advise in fact what's advisable is to copy your binance wallet address from either metamask or trust wallet trust wallet is what i used and i'll use that in explaining this particular video now after providing your first name your last name your email your password you confirm the password you then be asked to provide your coin your binance coin address now to do that i'll be making use of my trust wallet now there's something i want to talk about here yeah? i actually have a special uh you can see i have numerous trust wallet accounts this is the 11th one now you don't have to have up to 11 trust wallet accounts i have my own reason now before i proceed to copy the address and explain what to do next and all of that there's something i want to quickly address you need to have a special or should i say uh, yeah, a special trust wallet account for important stuffs like this do not make the mistake of using the same trust wallet account you used in claiming airdrops and all of that to run important stuff like this now there's something that happens when you relate to all these airdrops you join click airdrop links join telegram group and all, the, all of that once you relate to those airdrop links those airdrop links sort of like create a backdoor sort of like create a back create, uh, create a backdoor to your wallet address you might think oh you have your your 12 word phrase and everything for your trust wallet see if no one can have access to your account oops you're deceiving yourself those airdrops cre uh, creates a backdoor to your account and leaves the backdoor open that backdoor is all is that that's all hackers need to actually you know gain access to your account and wipe out your front your funds you don't even need to have access to your 12 word phrase and everything so the all those airdrops you relate to it sort of like creates a backdoor to your account so there's a solution to that so it sort of like creates a backdoor to your account and leaves that backdoor open for hackers to you know access your account and then when that happens you lose funds so you're trying to run important stuff like this year to coin ico stuff and then you're using the same wallet address uh the same trust wallet account you're using to release the others airdrops you're merely putting your funds at risk now I've been created a special or uh, uh, a new trust wallet account for this particular stuff. You were asked to provide your your Binance coin address after providing your first name, last name, email, password. You confirm the password and next is to provide your Binance coin address. Now, as you can see, we have the Binance, uh, the BNB smart chain right here, and the normal BNB. This is the one you you need to click on. You click on this one, and then you copy this particular address. Do not make the mistake of using the address of this particular one. This is the one you need to. As you can see, your BNB smart chain. Same thing as the uh, your BSC or the BEP20. This BN, BNB smart chain using the uses the BEP20 network. So now you simply come right here, you click on copy, and then you come here, you paste. I would have loved to create um a new youtube um account on like a new account on this website website to show you uh to make this video as detailed as possible but i created a, i created one account already so this part is very straight to the point your first name your last name your email password confirm password and then your binance coin address do not forget 
bmb smart chain is what you will copy you now make sure the trust wallet you copy this stuff from you also have funds on it now i'll try to make this video as detailed as possible just to avoid any form of error one mistake and you only have yourself to blame so this is the account i want to this is the trust wallet account i want to use for everything concerning this year to bit stuff i already have funds on it and then i have copied the bmb smart chain address and i've pasted it here so now once you click on submit you will then be asked to verify the email and then you know the, the whole account creation process is very straight to the point you can say can as you can see the platform is very user friendly so once you successfully created the account you then proceed to login now we've created the account this is my account right here as you can see i've logged in welcome in one uni so now as you can see not this who it says welcome to yet to coin ico this page is for contributions in binance coin that's bnb only please do not send binance coin from an exchange exchange like binance kucoin those are exchange platforms the likes of trust wallets metamark those ones are wallets or crypto wallets i'm just trying to make it as simple as possible do not please do not send binance coin from an exchange should you require assistance sending binance coin from a from a bep20 wallet please require ignore that so as you can see this one this is the bnb address that you will send binance coin from so when i copied my own address as you can see eh, this was the address i copied i used in creating the account i copied this particular address from here from my from the trust wallet i i, I actually created for this store I came here i copied this particular address it's oxba blah blah stuff so sorry now don't get it mixed up oh. first thing you need to do is log in yet to be.com create an account you'll be asked to provide your uh, these details including your binance coin address i have this trust wallet account for what i want to do you come right here click on this bnb smart chain then you click on copy come right here paste it here click on submit a code will be sent um sent or a link or a code will be sent to the email you provided you verify your email successfully created your account then you come to this page so once you've successfully created your account you log in and here we are so now it says in the process of creating my own account i copied my bnb smart chain for my trust wallet this is the address right here so you have to make sure the same trust wallet the same tr trust wallet you copied out your bnb smart chain address from it's the same trust wallet you have to send the funds from to this place so <laughs> don't mix things up or to to uh, any mistake you make is on you to avoid story that touch or loss of funds or anything create your account provide the bmb smart chain wallet address so having having done all that you say this is the bmb smart chain that you registered with this stuff is very detailed though this is the binance smart chain address that you registered with please contact info at yetubi.com if you need to update your binance chain address you only need to do that if you actually make a made a mistake in the process of creating the account so to avoid the process of having to now contact want to undo some mistakes and everything take your time don't rush while creating the account your 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 first name your last name your email the password you confirm the password and then you provide the wallet address send only from a bep20 compatible wallet do not send from exchanges we recommend as you can see we recommend metamask or trust wallet so now having provided that as you can see it says to how many tokens would you like to provide uh, like to, would you like to purchase here is the price schedule for tokens in the crowd sale okay okay skip all of that so now as you can see you scroll you scroll to this part right it says this number four eh? it says please send the designated binance coin bnb to this following address the same address the same address they provided for me the same address they'll provide for every single person that creates an account on this website so any funds you want to send will be sent to this address from the trust wallet you copy this your own address from don't get it mixed up oh. This number one right here it says this is the Binance address that you will send funds from. In the process of creating my account, I copied the wallet address from this particular trust wallet. So if you now want to make sure you send funds and you make sure to avoid any story, 
I copied the wallet address from this particular wallet. If I want to fund or buy the year to be token, you have to make sure you send funds from this particular wallet to now. See this the address you will send the funds to is this particular Binance coin address right here. The same address that was given to me, the same address that will be given to you. It's their own address on the platform. So it's the one you send funds to. You might be wondering, oh, how would they know you're going to send the funds? This is where this one comes into play. Because this one is linked to that your trust wallet. Once you send forms, funds from that particular trust wallet to this, their own wallet address right here, it will reflect and the token will be credited to that trust wallet. So I sent funds from my own trust wallet. I copied this, this address from my own trust wallet. So I sent funds from this particular trust wallet to their own address on number four here. So I first of all sent, I sent a, um, about $5 and I ended up sending $45 later. So I sent about $50 in total to their wallet address and I was credited with the token in just minutes, few seconds to a minute. So as you can see, I have about 631 to 632 year to bit token or year to coin. $5 will give you around 63 point something. $50 now gave me about 631.93 whatever year to coin. Risk only what you can afford. It doesn't mean you would actually lose money. See this stuff as an investment. Make sure in you are in it for the long term. But risk only what you are willing to lose. Risk only what you can afford to lose. I plan on adding more funds to this stuff, but this is just I have to quickly run this stuff to you know, run, to get the whole thing and then before I actually record this video, so it's very seamless and everything. So fifty dollars worth of BNB smart chain gave me this particular unit of year to coin. So now, if you want to fund, you simply click on this para here, you copy this address, and then you send funds from your trust wallet. I already have funds on in Binance smart chain. Binance smart chain funds is what you will send. Though. So to do that, you just simply you've copied the address, so you click on send. You're trying to send Binance Smart Chain. Make sure you already have funds here, and you click on Binance Smart Chain. The address you copied, you will paste it here. You paste the address here. Now to get the BNB amount you're trying to send, you can easily use your Coin Market Cap converter. You come right here. As you can see, the Coin Market Cap app. Click on this converter here. Click on converter. Click on this part right here. Search for Binance Coin BNB. Click on it, and then you come right here. Let's say I'm I'm, I'm willing to risk just five dollars. I want to fund just five dollars. Type it boxing five dollars here. This is five dollars. The equivalent value of five dollars in BNB. You mark. You copy. You come right here. The amount you're trying to send. You paste it right here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Come right here. Click on converter, search for BNB. So I'm willing to risk just five dollars or fifty dollars or five hundred dollars as the case may be for you. And you copy. You come here, open your trust wallet. You're trying to send Binance Smart Chain. Don't forget. You paste the amount right here as you can see about five dollars the address you're sending to don't forget it's this address so on number four year old. it's not like a different address will be assigned to you this same address is one is the same address i will send funds to if i'm trying to fund same address you and every other person that wants to buy or acquire this year to be token will send their funds to so you click on copy come to your trust wallet the recipient address you paste it here and then you can proceed to click on send make sure you have enough to cover for the amount and the fees just about 0 0.29 cents 0 0.29 dollars to cover for the network fee once you click on send you submit the transaction once it goes through like this eh? let me even show you let me let me let me run it i've created my account don't forget this so this address you're seeing on number one is the address I used in creating my account i copied it from my trust wallet and it's from that same trust wallet you will send funds and where you will send the funds to is this particular address on number four 
how would they know you're not that send the funds the address you use in creating the account that's where that one comes into play you've linked your trust wallet that particular trust wallet to this account you created on year to be so once you send funds from that same trust wallet to this their own address it will notify them that yes this is it came from this trust wallet so they will credit the token to that your trust wallet account so i've copied it let me try to send five dollars yeah this is the address this is the amount i'm trying to send i click on proceed and then i've submitted it and then it's still pending yeah so as you can see i have about 631 oh initially you can see i had about 631 before so the five dollar i just sent now has been successfully sent and that has given me an additional you know i had about um this is the year two coin right here i had about 631 before now the initial the additional five dollar worth of year two coin i bought has been credited in no less not even up to five seconds yeah so once you create a new trust wallet account or you have a particular one or your personal trust wallet you use for stuff important stuff of course year two coin won't be showing here now so you have to first of all add it click on this top right corner here search for year two coin as you can see year two coin turn it on and off done it will appear here straight up very simple now this is for those who already have funds on their trust wallet so if you happen to you probably don't have a trust wallet account at all or you have one or you plan on creating a new one for this particular stuff and you don't have funds on it you can simply send funds from a different trust uh, a different trust wallet yeah to this particular one or you can withdraw funds from your binance account don't send funds from binance to that year two coin wallet at directo don't send funds from binance to that platform directo if you don't have funds on your trust wallet you can send your funds from another trust wallet account or your binance for example to this trust wallet account so take for example now i created a fresh trust wallet account and i'm trying to fund it with binance smart chain this is what you're going to do you click on binance smart chain right here you copy this address i want to send bnb smart chain to this trust wallet i'm trying to make this video as detailed as possible you click on copy copy come to your binance app i already have funds on binance and i'm trying to place withdraw you come here yeah you come here paste the address here so now do not make the mistake of mixing up the network this particular wallet address now is for your bnb smart chain and it runs on the bep20 network now come see this after boxing in the address you come here come and choose the network you can see we have the bep2 and the bep20 bsc in bracket that bsc stands for binance smart chain so once you click on this confirm you can then proceed to withdraw whatever amount of funds you want to withdraw from your binance to trust wallets once that one reflects on trust wallet you can now proceed to send the funds from trust wallet to the year to beat um icu address so you come right here you withdraw whatever amount as minimum of no minimum no maximum but you should be willing to risk at least minimum of five dollars risk only what you're willing to lose risk only what you can afford to lose it doesn't mean you lose money in literal sense but you get the point so you don't have funds on trust wallet you can easily withdraw funds you will drop bnb from your binance yeah paste the address and make sure you choose the bp20 network the binance smart chain proceed to withdraw you withdraw the funds reflect on your binance you send i uh, sorry the funds you you withdraw from binance or any other platform withdraw to the particular trust wallet you want to send funds from once the funds reflect you can then proceed to fund your year two coin come here number four copy this address come to trust wallet click on send click on smart chain paste the address here input the amount proceed done now as you can see here once you do it now the funds will be credited if it doesn't appear you have to do it, just click on top right corner add the year to coin search for it and then um turn it on once you turn it on it will appear here and then you see your phone straight up like that once you've done that sit back and observe further information will be communicated this video is just to show you how to successfully create the account on year to coin how to add your own address how to fund having the funds reflect and all of that this is crypto manual over and out